Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the Pindad APS-3 Anolo with a crew of three, and it can carry up to 10 passengers. Dimensions you can see on screen now, max length of six meters. Its role is an APC, and the number built is 226 as of 2014. Armaments include one 12.7 millimeter MG and two smoke grenade launchers. You can see right here the engine, the total of 320 horsepower. Moving on to performance, we have a max speed of 90 km per hour for this vehicle. But anyways guys, that's it for that, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's here to for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the Pindad APS-3 Anola 6x6 Armor Personnel Carrier. Now uh, this here is a, uh, of course as I mentioned, an Armor Personnel Carrier that's actually an Indonesian vehicle. Completely designed by um, Pindad in Indonesia. And uh, this pretty much makes it my first uh, Indonesian vehicle on our channel, which is pretty dang awesome. So, you know, we have, there's a first for all of these vehicles, and it's pretty awesome to have an air country uh, being brought into uh, the mix, which is always awesome. Now, uh, with my version here, I went ahead and did the UN colors, and of course, you guys can switch this out. Uh, basically, how I do for my other tanks that I do in a green-ish camouflage, I use a combination of dark oak with stairs and half slabs and green stained clay to... Uh, go ahead and do that. If you guys want to, you guys can go go ahead and do the same thing. But I went ahead and put in the uh, UN camouflage just because I, you know, thought it would be cool, something kind of different, because uh, this vehicle is used uh, very regularly in the uh, UN. So uh, could definitely be a cool little vehicle and all that stuff in that kind of sense. So, um, anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, take a little bit of a look at it. There's not much about the Anola. It's pretty simple, just an APC carrier. Um, Anola is basically a type of buffalo that is indigenous to Indonesia, in case you guys were wondering. So it's like, it's basically buffalo in, in uh, Indonesian, I guess. So pretty cool. Now, um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So you can see here we have the side mirrors, uh, the front headlights. You can see here the front, um, i trying to think of the name for it, the, but the front like windshield, I guess. And it has like these uh, little covers that kind of go over the, over the top here. Because uh, basically these would be, you know, uh, these can be covered up so they can bring these trap doors down and kind of cover up the front win windows if they are going into a combat zone or something like that uh, and they want to cover up the windows so that they can protect the crew a little bit better they could close those down um, you have a top machine gun up here um, usually with UN vehicles we don't have machine guns on it but I went ahead and put one on it anyways because it looked really lame without a uh, machine gun so I went ahead and added that onto the top um, you just got some uh, little detailing here and there um, you can see some of these little uh, openings right there where the uh, passengers would sit. So, you know, you got your your um, you know troops that you would be carrying in there. They can look out the windows or maybe shoot out of them or something like that. And uh, brake lights, just some back detailing, stuff like that. Overall, it's a very simple, nice, small vehicle. And just an overall little cool APC to throw around in some battle scenarios you guys got going on with the, maybe the UNs involved. Very good stuff. But anyways, guys, that's it for a little bit of an overview. And let's go ahead and move into... The tutorial. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, layer 1. Now for layer 1 what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by to grab ourselves some nether brick and placing down an upside down nether brick stair like this, followed by one directly behind it. Now that right there is going to basically be the start of our uh, first wheel that's up here in the front. So basically your front forward uh, wheel on the left side, that's the block, those are the blocks we just placed down for it. Um, you guys can kind of see how big this is, it's not a very big APC so it should fit in um, you know spots uh, fairly nicely. Uh, but again, just make sure you guys looked into the mentions in the beginning of the video and have a proper space set up for it. So anyways, you have your two nether brick stairs down like this, and we're just going to go ahead and go from those nether brick stairs over one, two, and three with quartz top sabs, one, two, and three over, just like that. And then we're just going to place down nether row three that comes out toward the front of the vehicle, which the front of our vehicle will be facing that direction. And then taking some dark oak wood fence gates, we're just going to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood fence gates like that on either side opened up. Now again, over here on the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down our upside down nether brick stairs, just like that to form the right front tire. Then we want to place down a row of three of quartz uh, top slabs, followed by two more rows of three. And on those two rows of three we just placed down, we're just going to place down a upside down nether brick stair on either side. So just like that. So that's going to be your center wheel. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing. So again, a row of quartz top slabs. And then we're going to place down two rows of three here of quartz top slabs, and then these rows of two here are going to uh, have the uh, nether brick upside down stairs on, right next to them. So if you look at this correctly, you will basically have a space of one in between your wheels, just like that. And then on the back here, 
all we want to do for this is just take a dark dark wood fence gate place it down open it up like that and uh, that right there is gonna be basically the base of our pin dead anola as you can see pretty simple stuff and with that we can move on to layer two Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 2. Now for layer 2, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking the, basically some quartz full blocks, placing down a row of 3 on top of these 3 quartz top stabs in the uh, very front. Then on the sides of that row of 3, we're going to place down an upside down quartz stair like this. And then coming off of that row of 3 toward the front of the vehicle, we're going to go ahead and place down an, basically 3 upside down quartz stairs like that. Then we just want to go ahead and place down 1 and 2 quartz full blocks like this on either side, 1 and 2. And then we're just going to take our nether brick stairs and place down uh, basically our stairs just like that on top of the upside down stairs. And we can just go ahead and do that for all the wheels here. It's the same thing all the way around. So you guys can just go ahead and do that real quick. It's basically just going to make yourself a little wheel there. I mean, it's it's a little big, but you know, that's what we can do uh, with what we got. So that's what we want to have there. Now, uh, once we get to this point here, we're just going to go ahead and actually, just, we're just going to take our quartz full blocks and run along the side here all the way back to that uh, quartz top slab, place down one in the center, and then we're just going to place down this row across as well. So you're going to leave a space in the center there. As you can see, there's really not much space for interior, unfortunately, but that's just how it is sometimes with our vehicles. Um, so most likely you won't be able to really fit an interior in. Now anyways, at this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz top slab, like this on your side, in between these first two tires, just like that. And then on the back here, we just want to place down a row three of quartz top slabs that come off of those three quartz full blocks. So just like that for the back. And uh, that guy's right there is going to basically do it for layer two. Pretty simple stuff, guys. And with that, we can move on to layer three. Alrighty, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. Now for layer three to start off with, we're going to take some skeleton skulls, place down one like this on your side, and those are going to represent your front headlights like that. You could also have them faced around this way. It's kind of up to you guys, whichever way you want to have them facing. I think I actually intended for them to actually be facing this way with their backs facing the front. So just like that, and of course you don't want your skeleton skull at an angle there. So something just like that, those are going to be your, basically the front headlights that are mounted uh, to the front of course. Now once you guys have that done, we're going to take our quartz half slabs, place down a row of three behind those uh, skeleton skulls like that, followed by one and two light gray stained glass paints that come off of the sides just like that for your rear view um, mirrors or your side mirrors. And then we just want to place down a row of three here of, um, you know, this uh, light gray stained glass full blocks, just like that, followed by a stair on either side that's facing this direction, so just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place down a stair like this so that we create a corner stair with the ones we just placed down. So again, just like that on either side. And then uh, on the basically the left side here, for this, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz full block. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a quartz stair. Now, uh, over here on to the left side, we're going to place down two quartz stairs. And then over here on the right side, we're going to place down two quartz full blocks. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference there. Make sure you guys um, have that all squared away. You guys can kind of see what that looks like and uh, all that stuff. And then on either side here, we're going to place down a quartz half slab. So just like that, a quartz half slab on either side. Followed by a quartz stair, like that. Followed by another quartz half slab, and then another quartz stair, just like that. And those half slabs right there are going to create the little um, slits right there to uh, look out from the actual place where the crew would be, or not really crew, but passengers would be seated. And then uh, we can go ahead and in between these uh, these stairs here, we're just going to place down a row of three of uh, quartz full blocks, and we just want to go ahead and place down an item frame on either side here. Followed by a stone button like that on either side and then a tripwire hook in the center. We can also go ahead and grab ourselves some red stained glass and place it down in those item frames like that to form the brake lights as you can see something just like that. And uh, that guys right there is it for layer 3 and with that we can move on to layer 4. Alrighty guys so going ahead and moving on we're going to be going ahead and moving on to layer 4. Now for layer 4 what we want to do to start off with is we're going to go ahead and take ourselves some quartz half stabs and place down a row of 3 all the way across on top of those uh, light gray stained glass full blocks. Then we're just going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on either side like that. And then for this next part here, we're going to place down one and two quartz full blocks on the right side, followed by a quartz full block on the left. Quartz full block on top of that one we placed in the previous layer. And we're going to go ahead and leave the space open right here. We could place down a trap door in it like that, but this is going to basically be the hatch here uh, and also where our MG is going to be located. So once we have uh, that hatch in place right there, we're going to place down another quartz block on the other side of it, and then one behind it, so we create something kind of looking like that. Now coming off the side here of this quartz block, we're going to place down a quartz half slab, 
And then we just want to place down two quartz half steps like this and then three quartz half steps like that. On top of these uh, quartz full box here, we're going to go ahead and place down a total of two stone brick half steps on top just like that. And then we want to go ahead and uh, along the side here, place down one and two quartz full blocks. Then we're going to place down a nether brick half slab in there in the center like that, followed by a quartz half slab to the side. Two quartz half slabs like so. Then we want to place down a nether brick half slab on your side, followed by a quartz full or half slab there in the center. And then in a row of three of quartz half slabs all the way across. Now, if we go ahead and take ourselves or grab ourselves some uh, nether, or not really nether brick, but dark oak wood fence gates, we're going to go ahead and place down one like this on either side like so. And you may have to delete those buttons and place down a place order block, but then if you go ahead and delete that place order block and place down your stone buttons, you guys are good to go on the back there. Now one last final thing we want to do for this layer though is you want to go ahead and take some iron trap doors and place them down on top of those, uh, on top of these half slabs. So just like that. So you're going to create those little slits there, as I mentioned earlier in the previous layer. And uh, that guy's right there is pretty much it for the basic design for the Yanola. If you guys want, if you guys uh, want to add the machine gun on and uh, just a few little extra little details, we'll go ahead and move on to our next layer, uh, which is going to basically be our uh, you know last uh, layers layer, layers five and six, in which we'll go and put the gun on all that stuff. But that's the basic di design there for the APC without the gun. And uh, with that, we can go ahead and move on to our final uh, two layers. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next uh, part of the tutorial, we're just gonna be going ahead and putting our machine gun on and also some little details and stuff like that. So to go ahead and get started here, we want to start off by taking some stone buttons, place them two down on top of these quartz full blocks, just like that, and your detailing's done for the vehicle. Now, uh, the one last thing we're gonna go ahead and add on to it is the machine gun. So for this, we're gonna place down an upside down stone brick stair, just like that, followed by a dark oak wood uh, fence gate on top of that uh, iron uh, trapdoor just like that then coming off of that upside down stone brick stair we're gonna place down one and then two dark oak or dark oak with fence gates just like that on top of this upside down stair we're gonna place down a redstone repeater maybe notch it back a few times just like that to create the iron sights of the gun or the uh scope or something like that red dot who knows and then coming out to the left side of from the stone brick stair we're gonna place down a stone brick top sub just like that for the magazine of the gun but that guy's right there is pretty much it for the Pindad APS-3 Anola 6x6. It's a very cool uh, little vehicle. I mean, it's uh, pretty nice, simplistic, and uh, really cool in, uh, you know, UN scenarios and stuff since this is a UN uh, vehicle. And also our first Indonesian vehicle, which is also very awesome uh, and all that stuff. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, be sure to give me proper credit for it. This be thing from a sign on the build, tweet to my channel, or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, just be sure to give proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. Uh, it helps my channel grow, guys, and it's uh, always a good thing because I can continue to, uh, you know, work on vehicles and continue to post them more often. But also be sure to suggest what Modern Warfare vehicles you guys would like to see next time in my tutorial series. And of course, I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. But other than that, guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.